Hi everybody, it's Kevin Purcell for GottaBeMobile.com and we want to show off the new iWork suite of apps on the desktop and also through iCloud. Apple yesterday announced that these updates, long-awaited updates by the way, um, are now free to use and people who will buy a, a new computer can get it for free or those who purchased it in the past can get it for free. All others will still have to pay the $20 per app fee. I've got a, a test keynote presentation open and I want to show you a few things. First of all, notice that you still get your slide thumbnails over here in the very basic toolbar at the top here. Now over on the right side we have the uh, inspector. They have kind of changed the name of it and the term of it but notice you get slide layout. Uh, we can hide it. Uh, it'll also open up animations here we've got a nice new selection of animations. Some of these are the same. Some of them look a little bit differently. Uh, we can show you what that looks like. There's a new animation. But this makes uh, creating and editing slides and slideshows in Keynote a whole lot simpler. I really appreciate it and like it uh, a lot more. Go over here to the setup and you can change the basic features of the presentation. For example, is it a wide screen or a standard size screen? We'll go back to wide. Presentation type normal, hyperlinks only, self-playing. Uh, self-playing is for like a kiosk where you have people come and it just keeps playing itself. Uh, loop the slideshow. That helps uh, it go, you know, continue as it gets to the last slide. It goes back to the first slide. You can change the theme real simply. Uh, one of the new things here, we've got some new themes. Some of the same old themes are there, but I notice a few more attractive ones. Uh, but of course, here's your same, your favorite Apple keynote presentation style and uh, one of the things I, I want to share the key features of, of uh, keynote and all the iWork apps is this uh, sharing tool up here you can share a link either through email through a, a message Twitter Facebook or you can just copy the link and send it to them what that does is that will then save this presentation in my iCloud account and someone can go to their iCloud or go just to iCloud.com open up the uh, the link uh, which takes them to that page, and they can begin editing, even if they don't have an iCloud account. And so uh, we did this earlier, and one of our uh, uh, one of my colleagues, Travis Pope, went and, and edited this. I had something else here, and he wrote in, "Hi, I'm iCloud," and uh, I could see it happening in real time, which was pretty pretty cool. Another new feature is these tool tips uh, that help you learn about how to use it. You can turn these on or turn them off there. Um, and again, this uh, uh, toolbar up here is uh, normally you, you would you were able to edit the toolbar, although I haven't seen that. I haven't played with it this enough. We're just kind of giving you a quick first look review of it. Uh, we'll see that. Now I want to show you a few things. Let's go over here to numbers. This is the numbers interface, and again, uh, if you select something. You can totally change the look of the table just by one click, which I think you could do before, but it just looks cleaner and simpler. Uh, here's all the formatting. You can format just that cell. Uh, you can format just the text. You know, for example, if I just click some text here, uh, I can change the font. You know, it's basic stuff you could do before. Arrange it. Numbers isn't the most complicated or advanced um, spreadsheet application, but it is simple for people who aren't you know, serious hardcore number crunchers, I think it's plenty, maybe even overkill for us. These up here, as the tool tips will tell you, select the table cells, then click to create a chart using their values. Uh, and it just kind of gives you an idea of all these different things that it can do. We'll close that out and go in here to a pages document. We'll fit it in width. I'm on a very large uh, screen, so it's nice to have uh, plenty of, of space. But again, this is one of the new attractive templates. If you go to uh, New, you bring up the new template chooser. You can see all of them. Um, some of these look the same, but some of them are, are new and different. So we'll create this one. Again, you got your format uh, area over here. So if I select this, I can change the color of it. Uh, the fill, different things. And it also has the uh, share feature, which you can share through the same way. 
One of the new features of Mac OS 10 and OS 7 is the airdrop. So I could airdrop this and send it to someone else. Keynote in iCloud, if you jump back here, shows all of your iCloud apps. These are still in beta, and interestingly, they still have the old um, uh, icons here. You know, the, the new ones, if you can see down here, here's the new pages, the new keynote, the new numbers icon, and yet they have the old one in, in iCloud. But it opens up with the same kind of welcome to pages that the uh, apps did. It shows you this new in pages for iCloud, easy sharing, collaboration, works with new pages for Mac and iOS. All right, so we'll get started. Again, we get the tool tips, so we can turn those off. Let's open up this uh, formatting, and you can see it'll create a document. And we'll pick that one. It opens a new window and creates your document for you. Again, you have this uh, formatting bar over here. You can share these. Uh, you can import image text. So it's the same basic interface with maybe just a, a slightly simpler look uh, to it than the previous one. So this has been Kevin Purcell for GottaBeMobile.com. I wanted to show off the new iWork suite, both online in iCloud and also the uh, offline document and spreadsheet and presentation app creation tools uh, that work on Mac OS X. Thanks for watching.